So Jason Doyle on the inside in red, Jack Holder out of gate number two in blue, gate number three in white is Bartol Schmarslik and Dan Bewley off the outside in yellow. Dan rides here, knows the place inside out, looking for a big night. A lot of people um, fancying the chances of Dan Bewley. Will he make his first final of the year? It's his type of track, isn't it? A racer's track, plenty of lines. A bit greasy uh, for a couple, first couple of races. Riders coming back in pretty uh, dirty in third and fourth, but uh, the uh, track will evolve and improve as the evening goes on. Green lights on. Oh, Jason Doyle was keen to get under away there, but uh, it's Jack Holder out of gate number two that's made a superb start. Here comes Bartos Smalls. Oh, 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 it's down. Oh, oh that's heavy a heavy ball. crash. Wow, he ran out of room there. He did. Drama. Championship leader, world champion, off the bike. At the back speed of speed at that point on the track. Always well. up. Good news. Really good news. Wow, that was dramatic stuff. I tell you what, Air Fence done its business there. Yeah, he's gone down hard. Plenty of damage to his race suit as well there. Yes, Sintoff is our referee from Denmark tonight. He will have to take a look at this. And uh, will he consider this a, a fair bit of riding? I think Smarzik's going to go there. I think he is. I think he is. I think Jack Holder's in front. He's chosen his line. He actually hasn't gone right to the fence. Admittedly, the handbars actually have hit the back there of uh, Jack Holder's bike. But it would be really harsh to say that Jack Holder's done anything wrong there. He knows he's there. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse, that. Eh? Could have been. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, he was sort of lucky Airfence to get off done the bike right a big bonus there because uh, he's high speed. Jack Holder coming across hard, but he has the right to. He's out in front. Not a lot of room. Yeah. Yeah, Bartosz Schmarslik, I think, has gone for this one, but um, not a good start to his night. You're right, just caught the very end. Or the beginning, I should say, of the air fence. Very lucky. lucky for him, yeah. Very lucky indeed. So the championship leader, 21-point lead coming into tonight, starts with a hefty fall in heat to number three. Quite possibly a little bit more racing room on the way to the first corner. He might be able to... The outside line not working quite yet, but you sense it will come. Um, uh, about 50 minutes before the meeting started, they absolutely flooded the Ooh. track. And clearly in the first couple of races, it was a little bit greasy. So here we go then, second time of asking for heat number three. And uh, all three riders now arriving at tapes. And we'll run through the lineup for you once again with Jason Dolan, the inside with the red helmet colour on. Uh, Jack Holder alongside him in gate number two in blue. No rider in gate number three. And off the outside in yellow is Dan Bewley. And you're dead right. Dan Bewley has got an excellent chance here to get amongst it this time. We'll give him uh, more options on that charge to the first corner. And Jack Holder, after making a superb start out of gate two, has got to replicate that once again. So yeah, here we Dan, go then. Dan's just got that extra space. Gives him a little bit more uh, time to make a decision as to whether he needs that cutback or not. There we go then. We'll uh, keep our eyes peeled on that. Still a very competitive race. Here we go. And uh, Holder's made another terrific start out of gate number two. But this time, Dan Beauty around the outside. Will he? Yes, he does. Yeah. Superb stuff from Bewley, and that's worth a treat for him. Second time of asking. Jack Holder hugging the inside. And uh, Jason Doyle just been tailed off here. But Dan Bewley looking for an improvement. Certainly starting in fine style here. Tracks dried very quickly. Already some dust there being kicked up in heat number three. And Bewley out in front. It's where he wanted to be. Yeah, surprised to see the track drying out so quickly. It's uh, slick at the moment, but it can develop. They can, they're going to have to put plenty of water down. Uh, during the track grading, but Dan Beauty just keeping it smooth, maintaining his speed, corner speed all the way around the corner. Looks like he's enjoying himself out front and certainly made good use of that extra space off the start line. Indeed he did. Nice swoop round the outside of Jack Holder, who is this, really is uh, drawn out this race, and Beauty wins very comfortably indeed. So uh, the rerun of heat number three goes the way of the British rider. And he gets his nice uh, night off to an ideal start. So, uh, terrific stuff from him. Jack Holder, after a good start from gate number two, picks up two points. And uh, the result, three points for Bewley. Holder back in second place, two points. Jason Dole tailed off there. Wasn't quite on the pace one point, and Bartosz Schmarzlik excluded from the race. So, there we go. We finally get heat three uh, done and dusted, and Dan Bewley starts in fine style, and he'll be chuffed to bits with that. 
Doesn't say he's a popular man in these parts because he rides for the club De Carna. Here we go. Yeah, Jack Holder uh, uh, makes a decent start from gate two. I think he'd be a little bit frustrated that he felt the charge may be coming from the inside from Jason Doyle and decided not to run up the uh, banking too much. Uh, gifting plenty of room to that man in yellow there, Dan Bewley, just roars around the outside, keeps it nice and smooth, generates plenty of speed straight away and enjoys three big points to open up his campaign tonight. Indeed he does, track slicker than I was expecting and drive very quickly indeed.